Happy birthday! <laughs> hey! You're a day late. <laughs> you, because you cancelled on it. So we still got to do it. You're so funny. Look at you. It's your birthday. You got the little things. Does yeah, that? your hat. My hat has a happy yeah. birthday, even though you can't really tell. And you've got the David streamers on the wall behind. I just set up how our family always did it. Meticulous attention to detail. I can Only see. the best will do. I can see. I mean, you've just been marvelous. Who blew up the balloons for you? This whole setup cost over $7. No. So just. So you, you really splashed out. We care. We care. Yeah. We do it because we care. So happy no. birthday. This is your birthday yeah. episode. Thank you very much. That's really nice. How's yes. it going so far? It, well, it's been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Pretty good was start. Fun. No, no, no. Yes. This episode, not the other shit. Oh, this. oh, oh. No, this. Oh, it's a good episode. Look at all this shit. This is, this is a I, lot of work went into this. It's fabulous shit. I mean, just the best. You think yeah. this? Are those you think I woke up like this? No, no, I can see you put a lot of effort into That's how right. you... I'm very grateful to you. It's really kind. Well, I've got a few things for you for your birthday Have you? episode. Yes, because it's a well, birthday. You, you sent me some presents. Well, yes, but I mean, I sent you a thing with no lid. But what matters is um, <laughs> that... Well, why don't we start with this? Why don't we start with the card? Should we start with the card? Yes, please. For your birthday? Yes. yes. Oh, that's lovely. For you. Definitely oh. for you. And look, it's, yeah. it's been sealed for a bit, which I think is important. There's, is there anything funnier than when someone gives you a card and it's still got their spit on it? And you're like, you did this in the car <laughs> right over. Yes, yes. Well, they like, left, go on. They left the price ticket to 39p on the back. Yeah, or they've taped it so you don't know. Um, yeah. Here's your card. To oh. my, it wasn't the right card, but I changed it around. It was to my sister on uh, Mother's Day, but I've changed it to to my I, mommy on her birthday. I can see you put a lot of thought into that. Yes, it was very thoughtful. And Thank I'll just, you. I'll edit the card a little bit on the way here because it's the okay. Whenever okay. I think about us, that works. I remember all the times you've been there for me, really listening with an open heart, offering advice and sharing life's special moments. Still works. You have so many gifts that make you a wonderful sister, a mother. Mother. And the same qualities make you a loving and caring mom. Mm, this is tough. <laughs> so it's redundant. I think, guess we'd rather be redundant. I want you to know how much I admire the mother you are and love the sister you are to me. Oh, that's Happy so- Happy mother's birthday. Lovely. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, son and brother. Happy Mother's Day birthday. Oh, that's really I thoughtful. A personal message. Mom, I saw this card and I thought of you. Love, Garfield. Oh, that's really nice. That really is lovely. That's along with the decorations. I feel highly honored. What else could you want out of today? Did you go to a party shop? Uh, yeah, I made a special. There was a special trip made for all this accoutrement. <laughs> Are you loving your birthday episode so far? I uh, absolutely love it. It's, I mean, it's the highlight of my week. It's a pretty good episode, right? It's, so, it's, it, is, it is. It's unbelievable. Yeah. What, what would you say is your favorite? Do you remember your favorite birthday ever? I think, um, let me think. I think that one that we, that one we had in the basement and that lovely French boy was over. Mom, um, that sounds so fucking perverted and weird. <laughs> That birthday you threw me in the basement with that French boy. <laughs> and, you, and you did. And do you remember you you made a bar? It was yeah. Well, what we we had a we had a an exchange student named Pierre Emmanuel Rateau staying with mm -hmm. us, and he hit the lottery when it came to crazy situations to move into, mm. because the basement was like a party zone. And then for your birthday, what were you fiftieth? It's my 50th, yes, yes. 50th birthday, you, I dressed up crazy as normal and was your bartender 
I was probably what 16, 17, something like that. Something like that, yes. And yeah. he was in town and he was sort of like, okay. And he, so he dressed up nicely, but he like I was wearing like white gloves. Like I was crazy and I didn't know enough French to explain to him, like, I'm out of my mind. So don't try to do this. But so he was trying to hang. And uh, I was at one point trying to drink every drink that someone ordered until that became uh, unsustainable. And he and he came down, I remember, because our basement was a really scuzzy basement. And it was all covered in cat fur and dogs. And, and pot and ash and booze yeah, caps and stuff. Yeah, girls' underwear. And anyway, and he came down in his beautiful tailored French Parisian suit to this scuzzy basement, you know, to this party where everybody was just it was hilarious. And, and my mum had come, they had, um, uh, 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 Nick and Tracia flew mum over as a surprise. <coughs> oh, that's right. And, and I, and they'd have to hide her. They hoped that I wouldn't go up to their house. Fortunately, I wasn't the kind of person that ever knocked the door without, you know, a phone call. But they hid her up at the house for a couple of days. And then we met down at the Silver Spring that. house. They, they said, <laughs> I we, remember we, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we went, and I went down. They said, come down, we'll have a drink, you know, before the celebrations. And and I walked in and there was mom. It was absolutely right. just yeah. unbelievable. And she loved Pierre, do you remember? I don't remember, but I would imagine she would have loved anyone who was mildly put together. Yes, who wore a suit. <laughs> well, not ironically. Uh, that's good. So that's a pretty good 50th birthday. It was. It was good one. I remember um, my neighbor Liz, mum's neighbor Liz, she bought me um, a little inflatable toy boy. <laughs> Wasn't that the French boy you had in the basement dungeon? No. No, that was different. Oh, okay. Um, and have you had a good birthday this year? Yes, it's been lovely. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it was lovely. Yes. Um, well. We opened the presents yesterday with you and Nick, those boxes, which was yes. lovely. Lo absolutely and then in, lovely, Nigel came over and we had fish and chips. We had fish and chips. And a bottle of champagne. And a bottle of champagne. It was very, very nice. Well, you know what else is going to be very, very nice, Mom? <gasps> You've got a piece of birthday cake. Oh, my word. Look at uh, this. You've gone all out. I've Don't gone it. all out this year. Yes. And these better not be those trick candles that I can't no. blow out. <laughs> no, they better not. Those are not. funny for a minute. Oh, okay. I'm not going to light them all because it's burning. Mother, yeah. it's your time to make a wish. Ready? Yes. And blow it out with me. <laughs> oh. Good job. Bloody candles coming back to life. They're not. Don't <laughs> worry. Oh. Oh, are they? I think I bought myself junk candles on accident. I really do. <laughs> Particularly okay, ice. I was going to. There we go. <laughs> Are you going to have a slice of cake? Well, I mean, you can't have it, so we have to do it. It's your birthday, so you have to live vicariously through me. You've no yes. other option. No. <laughs> so, of course, you're is going that to have a, is that a cake. towel? Is that a towel? It's a serviette. It's what classy people wear. It's what That's Pierre what, would have worn. Boy, yeah, Pierre would have mm. definitely. All right, he this would... is your cake. Mmm, <laughs> you love it? It's beautiful. It's very it nice. Is it? Where'd you get it from? Oh, just a really expensive shop. The party shop. A really expensive shop. Yeah, was it from a supermarket? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying my birthday. You're, you're having, having quite a day. You're really having a lovely time, aren't um, you? We've got to celebrate it this day. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Is it really nice? Oh, it's just to die for. How much are you going to eat? Well, it's your birthday, so you tell me when to stop. I think that's enough. You might be sick. I say it's okay. Okay. That's really nice. Are you going to give Jose a bit? We're on a diet. Oh, um, give her, let Jose have a little bit of cake. Now, don't eat cake, you lunatic. No, just a little tiny crumb of it. This, why don't we tell people what you, you think I'm starving, Jose? I think, I think he's on a lim very limited diet. He, he's, he's, fat. he's a fat, he's listen, 
This is what you did with me. You raised me fat, and then you <laughs> did, you felt bad when you said no, so you continued to fatten me. No, I didn't. You did. You did. I, did. I asked you, am I fat? No, you, no, no, not at all. No, no, you were nice. You were a nice I size. wasn't nice this whole, it doesn't, the whole time you were telling me I was nice, I was eating like I was skinny and I was fat. And you were <laughs> lying to me for some reason. I don't know why. You wanted Did to we, look better. Have I ever told the story on this? I don't, I think you know. I remember a man came to fix the fridge and you, you were quite, quite podgy. And I remember him saying. <laughs> and I was this when I needed it. And he was really unkind and he said, well, he said, babies look nice at um, his age when, he, when they're that fat, but not when they get older. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I thought, how dare you? So how did dare you? you look at me and think, like you just said I was podgy. Mm, you were cuddly. You were really cuddly. You weren't raising a stuffed animal, you asshole. You were raising a human who wanted to look attractive. I wanted you to still fit in the washing up bowl. Uh, you, you went the wrong direction. <laughs> so what was it? What was it that made you tell me I wasn't fat when I was fat? I truly didn't think you were. But you just admitted that I was podgy. Well, um, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe a little bit. I don't think I thought about it really. When I just... I, I'd ask you, I'd be like, "Am I fat?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you no. Got to... no, I don't think I. I'm... No. Um, no, well, you don't say to somebody you, you're fat, do you? Would, Would you, you go... say to me, I'm if, fat? If you were like this to me, if you were like, hey, look, I'm having trouble understanding if I'm fat or not. Uh, do I, could I lose weight? Am I heavy? Am I, I go, yeah, you could definitely lose some weight. Yeah, but you're great. You're fantastic. But if you're not happy at that weight, then yeah, you should put some work in to lose it. I wouldn't go, no, you're a supermodel. Go to the beach, you're gorgeous. Oh, come on. But I think it's really hard to- I'm sure it is. To tell somebody but that- But it has saved me years. Well, I don't, I don't think so. Look, you've discovered now. Well, yes, thank, no help, thanks to you. And what oh. happened was, what, is, what the hell just happened there? My earrings come off. Well, why Wait are you fiddling with it? Now's not the time for ear. Well, I, did, I didn't think it was in properly. Well, it wasn't. Well, I'm nice from my birthday party. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be yelling at you about your birthday, but no, you're right. No. But you're in right. a minute, you're going to tell me I'm fat. You are, no, you're not. All you eat is five almonds a day. Um, but it took a guy in the locker room after gym class saying I had titties. That's when I went, okay. Oh, that, yeah. that's a shame. I think it that's was really. Shame. Yeah. yeah, it was a shame. And I thought, how can I have tits if I'm not fat? Was that in school? Yes. Oh, that posh school. Oof. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. glad you went there, though. Okay. We don't need to get into that part of this. <laughs> um, well, I, do you have any more birthday memories or do you want me to move on to the next? The, this, is the, the, this is the big bit <laughs> because this is your present. No, I, d I know. I don't think so. Do you remember I, I your worst birthday? Um, when you were a kid, what was your birthday like when you were a kid? Because you grew up meager. Yeah, we, you didn't, well, we, I what, hap you what happened on your birthday? They just had like one hat for the year and you got to wear it? No, you, you got a book you of wood or something and you got no, to we, No, we'd have some friends around and you'd play things like mu musical chairs and Dad would be Admiral Lord Nelson and would all have to be blindfolded. And, and he, he'd have an orange or something and you'd pretend it was his bad eye. I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say? Okay, hold on. What <laughs> just, okay. I can't what, quite remember. Well, 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 hold on, let's just crunch it down. So, so grandpa, your father, he would dress up like who? And, well, like Lord Nelson. And I remember- Who's Lord Nelson? It, well, hold on, who's Lord Nelson? Well, you know, Admiral Lord Nelson, um, uh, well, uh, like, I don't know, a person from history, and he had one eye and he wore a patch. Wait, and so hold, dad, wait, hold so they, on. So they, wait, stop. When I think about it now, it's so funny. And we'd all go around. <laughs> what are then, you talking about? And then, you'd, and then he'd say, oh, you got Nelson in the eye, and it would be an orange, you know, all squishy. What? I can't <laughs> picture what we're talking about. <laughs> 
and then, and then I can't quite remember. I can't quite remember the, the thing. And then you'd have pin the tail on the donkey. Sure, uh, and I'm sure that was normal. Yeah, I'm sure there was some so yeah. someone dressed music, up like. And no, and then we do pass the, parcel, pass the parcel. We used to do that with you. But hold you on. Remember? Yes, but hold on. So Lord Admiral Nelson, whatever, he's yeah. just a historical figure who had one eye. Yeah. Yes. So, so in order for musical chairs, your father would dress up like him. He would put an orange in his eye. The the musical chairs was another game. The okay. music was a different play. game. So he would just, have... he would dress up like this one eyed man, and he put an orange where his eye was. Yes, yes, and then you'd have to poke, and then if you poked, and you'd get the the, the squishy eye, and he'd go, "Oh, you've got Nelson's eye." I mean, I, I can't. I, I, I remember. And then another one we used to do, we didn't do it, but I remember going to a party and this girl didn't like me and we bobbed for apples uh -huh. and you'd go in and I remember she didn't like me and she bit me while I was going into the apple. She bobbed for you when you bobbed for apple? I can't remember what she did, but she bit me and I went home because I was she, so upset. She, the girl she, underwater she, bit you? Yes. What in God's name? Wow. <laughs> She did it actually. Whether she bit my finger or she bit my face, I can't well, if remember. Bit your finger, you were cheating. Yeah, yeah. Because you were I mean, maybe, that, maybe that was it. Yeah. Oh, but those, was... and then we did a game called Pass the Parcel, which I know we did at your games. And, and you would pass a parcel, and each person would take a layer off. Yes. And then so, and it is actually a very uh, frugal game in the sense that it's mostly paper. Paper. So yes. then you get to the end and you have a very tiny little present and whoever yes. opens the last layer gets the yeah. gift. Gets the gift, yes. I like and that the, game. Yeah, that was a good one. I would I rather remember, play Lord Admiral Nelson Orange Eye. Yes, I shall have to, I'll have to find out exactly how that worked. But, yes. um, but, and I, but I think dad got more pleasure out of it than anything when, you know, when the kids got Nelson in the eye. I mean, you'd never be allowed to play that now, would you? Can you imagine? I don't, I don't understand what it is. No, I can't quite remember. I'm You're hopeless. Poking was... an orange eye? Yeah, it was something, it was always something squishy. Could you then... tell, were your eyes closed? Yes, you were closed. Your eyes, oh, your eyes closed. are closed. That helps a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, were then... blindfolded. you were blindfolded. You were blindfolded, right. Okay. And I think they'd twist you round and then you'd go. So instead of pin the tail on the donkey, it's poke the man's orange eye. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, yeah. We do. We do both. We do tail on the donkey. Yeah, I know. And, but and Pope that Nelson. Is, that is absolutely bonkers. It, it, it is bad eye. Yeah. Makes no sense. Still. I'll try. I'll try to get it. I'll try to get the whole thing how it used to work. Sure. Because um, it feels like we have six eighths of the game. <laughs> yes, I know. Because of, <laughs> because of my fucking memory. I don't I just, even know if it's that, but it's just. You know, there's a, it's just it's just a crazy little game. It, it was a crazy game, but it, of course, in those days, you could do things like that. You got away with. Oh, we used to play this you're, other you're game. You're acting like it's offensive. I don't understand it still. No, no, I can't. I'll have to. I'll, so he was like a blind person, essentially. Yeah, he he lost one eye and he had a he patch. He lost an eye, so yes. it was like you were poking his eye patch. Yeah, you, yeah. You so had to nowadays that would not be an acceptable game. No, you but had to poke. It wouldn't be an acceptable eye. game because it makes no sense. No, no, it um, doesn't. And but do you remember playing Tommy with Dad too? I do remember playing Tommy. Tommy was a yeah. very fun game. That was a good game, wasn't Tommy it? Tommy was yeah. a game where all the he would put out a tray of sweets in a circle. He, in a circle, and he would pick one to be Tommy. And so you, so then you would go around and you could you could pick up as many sweets as you could until you hit Tommy, and then you had to stop once you got. Tommy. Then you had to stop. Yeah, yeah. It's also think, just such a funny game. And I think when Dad did it, I think he kept changing where Tommy was, you know, so that nobody got any sweets. <laughs> Oh, I remember having a few successful rounds with many sweets when I played Tommy. Yes, um, yeah. So now we're probably at the time for your present. Are you ready for your present? You sent me a present? No, 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 but this is a different present. Oh, okay, because I had a rum top pot and some t-shirts. That's right, you did. But I know how much you love when I have a clean shave, but I know yes. the one thing you love more than a clean shave. You know what that is? You know what it is? No. A 
a mustache. So. Oh, I don't like you with a mustache. I don't like a mustache. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, for your birthday, we're gonna give you a mustache. No, I don't like it. Yeah. Don't shave it all off. Yeah, no mustache for you. No, don't shave it all off because I like it when you've got a bit of designer stubble. Well, it's not designer. There you go. Look at that. Huh? There we go, mummy. Yeah, there it is. Your dream's coming true, <laughs> mum. A mustache. Look at it. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's so quick. All right, that's oh pretty good. Gosh. There you go. A little birthday mustache for you. Even out those sideburns, don't want to be embarrassed next time I'm buying cake. There you go. All right. <laughs> Woo! You look so 1970s. You want me to mail you this? No, thank you. No, no, I could now do without. This was Jose. He'd eat it. So just so you know. No, you give him some, he needs some cake. He's not eating, he's a cat. He's not eating just cake. A, just a little snack. Mm, oh my word. You need some moisturizer on it. No, no, it's actually, this is perfect. I like it like this. You need designer stubble, I think. This is designer stubble. What about this doesn't say cool stubble <laughs> guy? This, this is 1970s. There you go. Look at that, a birthday mustache for you, mummy. Oh, gosh. That's... What haven't I done for you on this day of days? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you plan on doing that? Is that why you grew it? No, what? no good Lord. You thought three months ago, I was like, I've got the perfect idea. Was it a last minute decision that? Uh, you know, it all, you know, that the, the, it just comes to me. Mm, yes, I don't know when well. it does, why it does, but I just decided mm -hmm. you deserved this. Oh, well, that's really, really nice of you. Thank you. You're very yes. welcome. You're very I'm welcome. really happy. When you, when you come to England at some point, you won't come with the moustache, will you? I can't promise anything. <laughs> Seeing how much you like it, I think I probably will. I'd like to know what other people think of it. They love it. Everyone they? loves the mustache. Oh, yeah. Do they? Oh, Do look they? At this. <laughs> yes, I, I am looking. Yeah. See, it's a game changer. People don't know how weird it is to be a grown man with a mustache. It's one thing when you're like younger growing a mustache, but when you're a man and you grow a mustache, you know, people don't know you think it's funny. They think you think you look good. So it is, that makes it funny. Yes, yeah. Well, you're very brave to do it, Thank knowing you. that people are looking probably and thinking, What's wrong man. with this guy? Yeah. Sleazy he looks man. like he hangs out with French boys in basements on birthday. <laughs> Look at him. Um, now, uh, besides the mustache, mm -hmm. besides the card, besides mm -hmm. the cake, mm -hmm. uh, I did tweet out yesterday that you had, it was your birthday many birthday wishes came your way oh that was nice. many people wished you a happy birthday so thank you i thought That's it would so be nice if um we ended this episode and you gave a speech um to everybody so something gave a speech empowering yeah it's your big day so take the moment and you know all these people want to hear from you so rah! I would just mom, like to mom, say, mom, oh, mom. Make yes, this good. Thank you very much indeed for a lovely party, Garfi, and the effort that you've gone to not, not to make it so special. Everybody, 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 and all the tweets that Garfi's received, and it's just the most wonderful day. And I just can't thank you all enough for the pleasure of celebrating my birthday with all of America, the world. Um, so thank you. And everybody have a drink to my birthday, on my birthday to me. What if they don't drink? Keep going. Oh, well, well you can have some Kool-Aid or something. Um, sugar. Some water. And thank you. 
Thank you. What are you doing this for? I'm just giving you notes. Notes. Yeah. And I'm sorry that you're all getting wound up because of what I'm saying, but it's just been a lovely, lovely day. And it's been snowing here today. Unbelievable speech. It was unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm so proud of myself. You know who it reminds me of? No. Lord Admiral Nelson One-Eyed. <laughs> he gave a rousing speech. Yeah, I just ate an orange. I just ate the eye this morning. I had it for my breakfast. You had an orange for breakfast? I had an orange for my breakfast. There's yes. that classic yeah. normal diet of yours. Um, yeah. I yeah. don't suppose yes. you put any pictures. We don't have to do any. We're pretty much at time. I did. I did actually. Yes, right, I did bring a few pictures. Yeah, you you got one. No, I don't have shit. I shaved a mustache in. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure we've done that before. I don't think we have. Um, it's weird because I there's this sec there's this session of uh, oh that's nice there's a session of pictures we have of me as a baby where I seem very chill like I'm just like yeah take some pictures yeah I think it's amazing that they used to do those pictures when you were so little yeah. you'd go into a studio and have them done it's weird okay let's see this ah oh, that's it's a little we got a little the best part the best part of this picture is not the love between mother and daughter but my fucking car, my Volkswagen Jetta from 1979 in the background, that is oh. just so broke down. <laughs> oh my, but that like, was my car. Yeah. It was your car oh, and then gosh. it was my car. Oh yes. Oh yes. God, it looks like shit. I mean, that car, if that car could have said two words, it would have said, kill me. <laughs> and I thought that was a nice one. I thought as it was my birthday, I thought that was a nice picture yeah. with the dogs. Oh yeah, look at you at the beach with the ducks. That's that's the lakefront, isn't it? That's Lake Michigan. Yeah, that's Lake Michigan. That looks like uh, Doctor's and Park. And that one of you, because just because of your face, look. I oh, sorry, can you see it? Yeah. Look. That's very weird. And then, and then, th this was the follow-up face again. Look. Weird. Why were you doing that face, do you think? I don't know. It's from ages ago. And then um, and then I thought that was a nice one. I think I might have shown that one before. But that's oh yeah. That's, you, that's, you, me, and Nick. Nick, you, me. Yeah. And our that was lovely. Yes. Isn't that lovely? That is lovely. Well, those lovely. Are, uh, well, those are great was, pictures. Well done. Yes. A very the happiest of birthdays to you, Mummy Dearest. Thank you. Thank you. And now you can go and neaten up your moustache. Neaten it up in what way? Well, just, you know, make sure that you've done a good job because you didn't look. It's perfect. You didn't look. It's perfect. Did you? It's perfect. Are you happy with it? I never liked my appearance more than right now. Oh, good. I'm so glad. And I love the hat. I love your hat. That's beautiful. Mm. And all your streamers. Yeah, you really went to town, didn't you? Thank yeah. you. This room is basically Netflix because it's streaming so hard. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's lovely. You look lovely. And I'm so happy. Well, Mother, and on behalf of all of us, we wish you the happiest of birthdays. Thank you. It's an amazing day. And do you know what else happened on your birthday in history? Uh, it's the same day that the statue of Saddam Hussein was ripped down and downtown oh, Baghdad. Yeah. Yes, you that's right. It's your birthday with the peak of our uh, optimism of the occupation of Iraq. That was the day when we were like, maybe this will work. Anyway, uh, we fight forever wars. Any stand updates you'd like to plug? No, I don't think I've got any this week. I usually do, but what yeah. about you? What are yours? Uh, I'll be in Hawaii, May 31st, Maui. <laughs> Happy birthday, mommy. Love you. Thank you, darling, for a lovely birthday. It was the best.